Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family. Game Gabuzian is here with you and we are beginning our daily lesson. Topic for today is called Outside Pawn. What it means we will discuss little later. Now I offer you to do the following. Try to evaluate this position. White has king on the first rank and pawn at the edge of the board. Meanwhile black has a central pawn and active king. You can pause the video, try to evaluate it and as well decide the first move how are we going to play here for white. What do you think? Is this position good or bad for the white side? Suddenly turns out that even though our pawn is not advanced and at the edge of the board and king is passive, white has a winning position here. What is the reason? We have outside pawn. And here it means that while black is going to spend some time and fight against our pawn, which is far away, so in other words outside, our king is going to the center, taking the pawn of opponent. After that, while going for the other pawns of opponent, our king will be much closer. Meanwhile, black king is going to be far away on the edge line. Let's see. White goes king f2. Now we are going to block opponent's pawn and push ours. For example, if black now goes e4, we go king e3. After king e5, playing h4. Black has to stop this pawn, let's say going king f5, and we play h5. Our idea is to distract opponent's king from the e pawn and take it. King g5, king e4 and king h5. Now, this is the exactly same picture I was describing you previously. We go king d5, king g5, king c6, and as you can see, we are much faster to take opponent's pawn and get two connected pawns together. Meanwhile, this king is too far away because it was busy capturing our outside pawn. After king f2 move at the beginning, black can also try to limit our king's advancement with king f4 move Actually, it doesn't make sense. We still play h4. Even though here, after king g4, king e3, and king takes h4, black has an extra tempo, it's the same. We go king e4, after king g4, king e5, and when black goes king f3, we're still much faster. To be clear, let me show you this example till the end. We go king d5, king e3, king c5, king d3, king b6. And meanwhile black is barely on time to take one of our pawns with king c3, we capture king a6, king b3 and king takes b5. After black takes the pawn on a3, we are going king a5 and pushing our pawn to a queen, which is winning. This is the value of outside pawn. When our pawn is at the edge of the board and opponent has a central pawn, it's a huge advantage. Of course, we need to have some pawns on the other side, because if we capture a pawn on e5, we need a target to be faster than opponent's king. This is the topic of today. Let's now go ahead and see another interesting example. We have this pawn and game situation. Opponent's king is more active than ours, and we don't even have now outside pawn. How to play here for white is my question. Pause the video and make your decision. Seems like we need to create an outside pawn. And white is even ready to sacrifice a pawn for this. Here white goes a 5 move. Only move here is to take. Because if black goes g5, we continue with h5. Threatening h6, h7 and the promotion. Because a 5 pawn is limiting king e6 move, black is simply not on time. After king d6, h6, king e7, we are promoting h7, h8 and winning. This is the reason that after f5, black has to take. And now we are getting already our outside pawn. At this moment, there is a concrete calculation required. Once again, pause the video and try to tell me. Are we playing here king e3 move with an idea to go king f4 or pushing our pawn firstly? Pause the video and decide. If we suddenly go king e3, this time it's a huge mistake. 
Since black has two pawns on the f file, they can give one of them away and take our outside pawn. Black goes king e5. Idea is that after h5, black plays f4 check. If king f3, queen king to f5. Here, if we try to make the same idea we did previously, white is already losing. After h6, black goes king g6. King f4, king h6. And if we go now king f5, black is protecting the pawn king g7, already staying with an extra one and winning position. This is the reason that after g takes f5, white continues with h5 move firstly. Again, black is not on time for a king e5 move because with h6 we are promoting. After h5, black has to go king to e6 and already now we go king e3, king f7 and king f4, capturing pawn on f5 and getting the outside pawn as previously. Now king g7, king f5 and after king h6 we are capturing pawn on f6, going for the other pawns on the queen side. In this way, white is winning. Let me mention as well that at the beginning, if it's black to move, they are going to play f5 on their own, blocking our f5 idea and preventing white from getting the outside pawn. It's a very important pawn end game, which is one of must know positions in order to understand well the philosophy of pawn end games. I hope you liked it and this will be helpful in your farther games. Now let's go ahead and you will get your test position. This is your homework and it's white to move. How to play here is my question. You can share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Jim Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.